If you're getting this GA4 migration notice, it's for the Google Analytics 4 migration, then there's a couple of things that you'll probably need to do so that you don't um, stop getting data. <laughs> it's They're saying that on July 1st, 2023, that Google Analytics 3 properties, also known as Universal Analytics, uh, we'll stop processing data and then starting March 2023 for continued web measurement, you need to create a Google Analytics 4 property or one will be created for you based on your original property and reusing existing site tags. So in all reality, if you're really lazy and you're a business owner and you don't have time to deal with it, <laughs> they might just end up transferring it all for you. If you have a ton of data and you are in Google Analytics all the time, I'd recommend probably getting this set up ahead of time just so that you're not stuck in a between a rock and a hard place when this transition happens because Google Analytics 4 and Google Analytics 3, also known as Universal Analytics, are kind of like two completely different platforms. And the data is not necessarily going to migrate between the two seamlessly. And... The best thing from what I can tell, having done this for quite a few of our own websites and clients' websites, um, the, the easiest thing to do if you're using the UA, which is Universal Analytics, also known as Google, uh, Google Analytics 3, best thing to do is just to come in and create a property and set up a Google Analytics 4 property and then connect that to your website. That seems to be the simplest way to do things. So essentially when you're in here, you just click create a new property. By default, it's going to have you create a new Google Analytics 4 property. You can, depending when you're watching this, once Google Analytics 3 is no longer available, also known as Universal Analytics, um, you will no longer be able to do this. But right now, if you're setting it up brand new from scratch, you can actually create both a old Universal Analytics account and a new Google Ads 4 account. I don't really see why anymore, why we would need to do that, but um, most likely all you'll need to do is come in here, enter the property name. We can just do like a test account here just so you can see. Click the next button. It'll ask you some questions. These are, um, optional so you can skip these if you want and just click create and it's asking us migrating from universal analytics um, it's basically saying hey this is all going to switch over do you want to migrate so if you if you want you can say yes and try to see what can be migrated over i think it's easier to just skip this if it's for a website, obviously you want to choose the platform. If it's for an app, you can choose the app. If it's for an iOS app, you can choose that. Uh, but this is for a website. So, you know. My website. You can name the stream name. So this data stream is going to be like all the data that's coming through from this website. I typically just leave it blank, but... <clears throat> just do website create stream all right now it's going to allow us to connect this account to our website and there's a couple of different ways you can do this if you are using a content management software like WordPress or Wix or Squarespace there's different ways that you can connect um, Google Analytics but typically the easiest way is just install it manually and just come over here, click install manually, copy the tag and drop it into the header, just like you would a universal analytics tracking code with, you know, Google analytics three. And you can paste this on your website and then this is going to start collecting data in your Google analytics four account and start populating all that data so that you have that data and now you're, you know, using Google Analytics for, I'm not going to go into crazy detail about, you know, 
how to optimize your analytics setup or anything like that, event tracking or anything, because you know, I'll create other videos and there's other videos out there about that. But in this video, I just specifically wanted to touch on this migration because it's been coming up a lot. And as the time frame is shifting, uh, you know, by the watching of this video, you may have already lost access or data to your Google Analytics 3 account. Um, it's hard to say. So <clears throat> I just wanted to make this to help people who are going to have to go through this migration process to be able to quickly and easily understand what they need to do and get set up so that they can keep getting some data <laughs> and, and not have to worry about you know, losing all of their data from Google Analytics 3. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.